ass out. Where, nigga? I don't know. He's fucking. This, this is why I always have an issue with even wanting to make videos with Nick because it's so hard to even get him involved with anything. It's like he says, yes, I'm down for this, and then he just doesn't do it. What day is it? It's, uh, today is April 28th. Or no, April 26th. Not the date. The day. Wednesday. It's Wednesday, my dude. Okay, here it is. So, like, because Nick's not here, I did... Because Nick's not here, I did write down questions that I could ask you in the meantime. So, do you want to... Hit me. All right, I'm not going to hit you while hit you're... Me. I'm not going to hit you while you're lying down. <laughs> hit me! Okay, so on the topic one. Music. You make music. So, what's your take on music? Yes. How, do you think it, how do you think it should be done? Especially, First. especially, especially with the comparison of, t of today's songwriters. Everything is trash, except me. <laughs> okay, do you want to elaborate a little bit? I'm joking. <laughs> no, no. That's, that's the whole statement. Just kidding. Okay, no. Um... Everything has gotten more, like, basic over the years. Yeah, even with, like, things like AI, because I've seen stuff like that recently where AI is, That's like, advanced. taking over... Ta yeah. Taking over songwriters um, and videos. Like, the other day I got something in my recommended feed about the AI presidents playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh my... It's getting like, that bad, and I imagine that's pretty worse with music, right? Yeah, like, music nowadays, it's like, back then, people had to make, like, five, six, seven minute songs, sometimes ten, and now, people can barely make a three minute song. Yeah, I- That's one. I've seen like newer songs that are like usually under like three minutes. Sometimes yep. way under. Sometimes it's only like not not even that long. Because this population has ADHD. They have a very short attention span. I I yeah, and I could even um, adhere to that. Um what else? Uh these artists actually it's gotten better. Let's just say 2017, 2018 was like the worst years of like music taste because you had Lil Pump. Enough said about that. 6 9 <laughs> Enough said about that. <laughs> um, let's see. R. Kelly. There's enough said about that. Um. Are there any newer Jake Paul art? with the It's Every Day Bro actually Yeah that's Every like isn't that like it. isn't that his only song? No, he has way more songs. That's actually fire. It's just I don't know what we were thinking in 2017 to uh fucking 2018. I have no idea what we were thinking and we thought that was fire. I remember like Reality, it, Huh? Oh no, go ahead. I was gonna I was gonna go off on a rant. Oh, yeah, like in reality, looking past the songs during that era, it was hot duty water. Alright. Continue <laughs> with your rant. I was gonna say I remember when every when it's every day bro came out. I remember it like it, like quickly became a meme. And I don't know if it's because yeah. it was good or because it was bad about why it became a meme. I just know like lots of people started making jokes about it. And I've even seen like YouTube parodies of people trying to replicate the song in their own way to like paint Jake Paul a certain way when they parody it. Yo, he 
he did make a lot of money off of it. Yeah, from the views, that, that that was my point about it. Is that like it got so big that it became a meme, and people would make parodies of it to give Jake Paul's name yep. more views. All right. Good night. Uh, topic number two for you. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, we don't have sponsors, but I did want to talk about sponsors with you because I don't know if you've ever had any sponsors yourself. And what, yeah. What what like if if so, what are the sponsors like? Like, is it is there like is there anything about having a sponsor that goes unseen for the most part? Yeah, actually. Um, there's a lot. Uh, fucking one is the payment. Two, how long the uh, sponsor, uh, the actual sponsorship part in a video actually is. Like, you have to meet so many requirements. And, like, you can also throw, most of the time, it's scripted. Like, 100% scripted. But you can also, like, if you genuinely like the product, you can actually add your own piece into it. And they wouldn't mind, depending on how is and how you say it um what else um it depends on the video and the uh actual partnership the partnership can last for how long that the video stays up or how long that video is actually relevant like relevant to their product and like how long like they're like if somebody has like a like a code or something to get like 20 percent off yeah. like how long that code will last for example um like it's a good and downside about a sponsorship because the good side you get paid they get paid you get exposure they get exposure but at a certain point in time you guys like you just don't interact with the sponsor anymore so that means that they get free promotion at that point when the video is old. So if anyone just clicks on that video like a year from now, it's still going to be there. But you're just not receiving any payment, nothing from them anymore. So you're basically, they get free promotion for life unless that video gets taken down. Or unless, the, or unless you can use YouTube Video Editor and like cut the scene out. Then they can place a lawsuit. <laughs> yeah, but they're not. It's like how how would they get away with that if they're not already paying me to have to help them have their product be heard? It's like it's unfair at that, that point. That would be in the contract. Well, fuck the contract if they're not if they're they not paying me. That. They state that that the promotion after like you get paid a certain amount of time. Okay, well, I guess, I guess with that, with something like that being said, I I'm not I don't think I want MH Entertainment to have sponsors if that's how that works, because like I'm, I I I do not do well with contracts that go against what I should or shouldn't be allowed to do, and only not being able to do it because a contract says it. It's words on paper. But there is a good side because Dragon City, for example, that's my sponsor. That's your um, sponsor. Yeah, Admiral and Dragon. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Um, freaking stuff like that happens. You can have like a permanent mark on their company. It's like exchanging blows in a fight. How did you get your own dragon? I'm curious about that now. Did they just reach out to you they randomly? Made... No, I reached out to, uh, to them, actually. Huh. Because they were still working with uh, small time actors <coughs> during the time. And I just had roughly 200, 300 subs. Huh. So that was a pretty slim chance. I might actually try and get Dragon City just so I can find your dragon, and only for that reason. Just type in the Ace Dragon on Google. The Ace Dragon? Okay, hang on, let me. Dragon City Ace Dragon. Dragon City. I think it's still there. It should be. Ace I don't know. Dragon. Yeah, that's actually a thing. Hang on. Go to images. I want to. Holy shit, you do. Is it like? Is it like some? Is it like some? 
Is it something that looks like it's a... Like, it looks like a playing card. Yeah, okay, so... Holy shit, you do. That's cool. Yeah. It sucks, though. They nerfed my fucking dragon. How did they nerf it? Is it, like, when it's, like, older or a baby? No. It's just overall. Like... Oh, like... like some dragons are complete OP. Mine wasn't. <laughs> Do you want to take this uh this part of the section of the podcast to like tell them how much you hate working with them? Um, nah. I want to keep my sponsorship going. <laughs> I don't want my dragon to be removed. They like reach out to you like no, via. <laughs> they like reach out to you via email, just like, hey, so uh, we heard from a lesser known channel that you were talking shit. About yeah, our game. I'm gonna terminate that contract. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Nick is still not here. Cause you know what the next top uh, you know what the next topics are? They're more coordinated towards him. So uh, well uh I can speak more on the sponsorship. Okay. Well it's uh, not exactly free. For example, um say that you're a giant channel and you get sponsored. By uh, Ray Shadow Legend. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking hate um, Ray Shadow Legends. <laughs> but um, go, continue. <laughs> a lot of people click on the link in the code and use the code that they supply to you. Um, you can pay $6,000 uh, from it. From the that, code? Just from them clicking the link and using the loan, they pay you for that. Oh, okay. Um, but that amount slowly decreases as the video gets older. Ah, that's okay. So I can see the downside in them. Yeah, because the less people that click it, the less you get paid. And eventually, you might just get paid, like, you might just get paid maybe a couple bucks in a year. A couple cents in a couple years. So how so, much, how much would you be making if the video stayed up after, like, three years? Depending on how relevant that video still is. Hmm. Um, yeah. It depends on how relevant that video still is. If people still clicking on it, you're probably still getting paid. But the less people that click on it, it's just gonna keep decreasing until eventually, if the video's dead, the link is dead. And your payment do is they, surely dead. Do they have the ability to take away that uh, code if they wanted to? No. That would, uh, that would go against uh, YouTube PR fucking rules if you could sue them for that. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, this question's technically for Nick, but I guess I can ask it to you because it's relevant for YouTubers. Okay. The, the top topic number four says you just YouTube. I don't know why I didn't write anything else down for it. YouTube as a YouTube as a whole. Is there oh. is there is there pros and cons to it? Cons all day, really, right now. Um, don't get me started. First off, <laughs> dislike button. What yeah, the fuck? that like I remember making a video about it, and then I took it down because people were like going against what I was saying, so I didn't even know what to what I should be saying at that point. I just think the fact that they removed it is stupid because it's like how are you supposed to get crucial feedback and rather not it's a good video the only thing you're exactly. seeing is the number of likes not dislikes and freaking on top of that um youtube is setting their standards way too high what i mean is by uh for example you need four thousand watch hours to be monetized now, that's always been the rule for years. Um, for 
freaking now that there's like YouTube Shorts coming around, you need 10 million views to be monetized if you have YouTube Shorts. 10 million. Okay, so if you have YouTube Shorts, not just if you like contribute to making YouTube Shorts, like as long as they're on the channel, is that when you have to make yeah. a million? What the one video has to hit 10 million. That's so stupid. That's stupid. But even then, YouTube Shorts get paid less than actual videos. So why make it? On, uh, <laughs> if that's the case, then why make it 10 views. million? Exactly. And it's they're acting like it's easy to get 10 million views. No. Like it's like I get I get their like okay the only thing I can get is that maybe maybe the reason is because it's got to be professional you gotta you gotta treat it almost like it's television if that's the case but, but even if that's the case this isn't television you get paid for it so it becomes a job yes but it's oh. the internet on top of that YouTube is underpaid YouTubers. Oh yeah, I've heard about that. Isn't that, didn't, didn't that happen with like Corey X Kenshin? Yep. Freaking, they underpay me too. How much? Um, how much do you make in comparison to people that have the same amount of views and subscribers as you do? Um, freaking, on a daily and a week, I get around four thousand five uh, thousand views. That equals up to like maybe. In reality, it probably equals up to like 50, 60 bucks. But they'll pay me 20 for it. So it's, it should round up to like 50 or 60, but they give you 20? Exactly. That's not, that's, uh, that's, that's unfair. But, you can't sue, you can't fucking sue Daddy YouTube, because if you do, you're going to lose that channel. <laughs> and on top of that, they have no lead, uh, like, no chill. Because, like, um, there was this big YouTuber that had over, like, 10 million subscribers. And in one day, something happened to where YouTube accidentally deleted their channel. Note that this was their whole life. And the fact that you can just you lose it within the span of like 20 seconds, that's crazy. Like, that's a crazy thought. What the like, fuck? People actually do these for jobs, and they can just lose it in a split second. All, all that they uh, work for. All because of a, uh, I, all because of a either manual accident or a bot accident. Exactly. Was something about YouTube just to extend the the thing a bit further. Just to, do you think the idea that YouTube has too many bots is an issue? Because like I, I like I I would think that it's yes. better for YouTube to do things manually, only because like if you use too many bots, it can become an issue. I there's a pro and a con about this. Con, there's too many bots. Pro, it's kind of understandable that they're using bots because YouTube is one of the most Used platforms on this earth with over two million uh two billion active users. No one can manually do that. Right, but isn't YouTube hasn't YouTube so, uh, kind of become an organization like outside of internet wise? Like don't they have their own facility where people are paid to do that? Yes. And they're underemployed. Even they're underemployed? Like, like even at the building? Like, uh, freaking America is going into, uh, what is it? A recession. Basically, infl um, inflation is at an all-time fucking high right now, and people aren't working. I don't blame them because of the shit that's happening. Yeah, like, if you go to America right now, Jado, just from crossing the border, you're gonna see so many help wanted signs. And that's not a fucking joke. You can just probably walk down the street, past the border, and you're gonna see some companies help one inside. <laughs> it's funny you say that too, because like I've, I've actually been thinking about going to America, 
I like cause like I'm working on getting a passport currently. So like that means that get me wrong. It's a beautiful sight. Yeah, it's just, it's just like there's like there's major issues happening that should be dealt with, but they aren't being dealt with. Let me tell you. All right, I don't mean to get political, <laughs> but the United States is going to shit. Joe Biden doesn't even know that he's fucking president. He can barely mutter a word. <laughs> uh, fucking the stimul the stimulus checks are going to bite our ass. Taxes is high as hell. I can barely a fucking afford an electric bill. <laughs> fucking you wanna get some eggs? You wanna get some eggs? You know? Yes. You wanna get some fucking eggs? Yes. That's twenty dollars for a twelve pack. Twi fucking twenty dollars? Why? Bro! You will listen. Why is it a hundred dollars in America can probably buy you two fucking items? <laughs> <laughs> that is so dumb. <laughs> Why is it okay? I, this this is this okay like you said I don't mean to get political either I don't mean to say this but I blame the government for for not putting their money into things that they should be putting their money in otherwise they wouldn't have to bump up the prices so much here's the thing about America they fuck you over they will fuck you over because they put their money in it but then they take it away from you in taxes <laughs> Maybe I should maybe I should cancel my flight to America next month. <laughs> no! See how it is! See how it is! See how it is! But do you have any do ideas? You go <laughs> do you have any ideas of where I could where I could go to America when I get my passport? New York. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna meet uh that one dude from Home Alone. What's his what's his face? Uh Macaulay Karkin. States? Macaulay Karkin. I'm gonna give you some states for you to, uh, stay away from. Okay. Ohio. Okay. Okay. Ohio. New York. Oh, wait. No. Is that... Is New York a state? New York is a city. Wait. No, there's a sit. There's a city in New York called New York's City. But there's New York as a whole. It's, okay. I, I, New it's York. a state. It's a state. Iowa. Stay away from that. There's nothing there. <laughs> uh, Maryland. Arizona. You're going to get burnt the fuck up. Yeah, I, I know. I, I, like, like, Arizona, Arizona is, is like so the Australia hot. of America. Yeah. Florida, stay away from that. <laughs> isn't, uh, isn't that technically where you are, though? I'm in South Carolina. Oh. It's like... It's like one big-ass area of, like... What is it? Area 51. That's South Carolina. Ah. Uh. We have aliens in this bitch. Anyways... <laughs> Um, what else? Yeah, states to avoid. California is good. That should be the place that you visit. I might, I might visit California. I've heard... California? I've, I've heard lots of good Nevada, things about it in states to visit and places to see in California. Hollywood. Is that a place to avoid or visit? You can visit. Just watch out for the crackhead. Yeah. <laughs> Noted. I'll keep, I'll make sure I'll, I'll make sure I bring my crack away so they can keep out. Yep. The bitch be gone. Spray. <laughs> um, basically, stay away from America. <laughs> yeah, like, overall, I don't think America is that safe in comparison to Canada. Well, I don't, I, I don't say that in a political standpoint. I'm just saying because, like, where I'm from, it's currently, like, where I'm from, in Canada, it's not a bad place. Well, it's a bad it's place because it's a bad place. 
yeah, like, in my city, the where I live in Canada, it's not a horrible place, but it's not the great place, because there's a lot of assholes here. America's just the land of the asshole. Yeah, like, my city is where the assholes of America go to live, practically. Well, let me tell you how to survive America. <laughs> you want to breathe? Yeah, that'll be three hundred dollars. <laughs> you want to walk down the street? Yeah, that's gonna pay a five dollar fee. You want food? A hundred. You want food? You're gonna need a. You're gonna need at least four hundred bucks to get five items. Well, you you know how much it is to get like uh like groceries like it, like let's say like I'm out of co groceries completely, it would only run up to like a hundred fifty here in Canada. Here in the U S. <laughs> <laughs> Does it run right now to like 500 if, if you're like more more <laughs> what, what the, you need Shit. these these are essentials how much is it let me tell you a 70 inch flat screen TV is cheaper than groceries here what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> that is that is not a fucking and that is not an overstatement I, I I believe you. I don't even believe it's an exaggeration. Fuck. I mean, you gotta be like there's certain places here that have it good. For example, in South Carolina, like kid you not, my uh my mom bought a 24 pack of eggs for like 20 bucks. Yeah, I yeah you but mentioned that earlier. But in Mississippi, you can get it for like three dollars because like it's a farm state. Okay, three dollars for one egg carton, but in where you are, fucking twenty. That's how it is. Gas. Don't get me started on gas. Yeah, no, the gas prices I imagine are worse here. Here's the fucked up part. Here. It's only like five dollars. In California, that shit is damn near twenty. <laughs> Why? It's like eight oh, no. like eight, nine dollars a gallon. Texas, my lord, that shit don't cost you an electric bill. <laughs> it says holy fuck. But America's okay. Like again, pardon my political language, but fuck you, American politics. Bro, let me tell you. At one point, I was so fucking financially crippled to the point I was thinking of selling my fucking car to buy a horse. <laughs> <laughs> a horse? Well, I mean, I don't blame you. It'd probably be cheaper because you don't have to get gas money. Shit, just fucking buy a couple apples a day? Shit. I'm running on horsepower. I'm gonna live the, the life of uh, Arthur from Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh yeah, there's a lawsuit going on in my uh, in my state. Is there? So, a guy, the guy actually sold his truck for a horse and was driving it down a public road. No, that he was pulled over by some cops and got arrested. Here's the crazy part. They said that it's illegal to drive a horse on the road, and they told him to park the fucking horse. You can't <laughs> humanely do that. You park the horse, he's dead. What the fuck happened? That and second, it's legal. It's legal to drive a horse on a public road. You just can't do it on a um, on a national highway. How else are you gonna get around? Is there like it's like one pathway? I don't know. Driving the grass. <laughs> I'm, I'm also wanna wanna know some re weird rules about America. What? So as you know, with being fifty states, right? Um, each state has different sets of rules. They all individually have their own rule set. Why? Why doesn't it? Why don't they all just follow one big one? Because it's a big country. That would be the uh, constitution. That's the one thing that everyone abides by. But all states have their different sets of rules. 
Okay. For example, in South Carolina, here's the thing. If you want a gun, you can go to the gun store and buy a gun. But as soon as you, as soon as your foot steps outside that door, you are liable to get arrested for having an unregistered weapon. So why is there a gun store? <laughs> exactly. That makes no fucking sense. <laughs> so, as soon as you buy the gun, if you're in the gun shop, you're fine. As soon as you step outside, come text me. Oh no! <laughs> you texted me. Oh. I see a oh. hood. Oh yeah. God damn it. It's 5.25, it's almost 5.30. Damn it, Nick. Are you okay? <laughs> Maybe. Ah. <sighs> Hold on. Ah. Hold on. Oh shit. Yeah. <sighs> shit. Hold on. You good? We're gonna fix this. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Sli sli sliding up. Uh, one, I guess, like, last thing I, I want to talk about before ending this, because I don't believe Nick's gonna come on. Uh, this was gonna be something for a catastrophe if he joined, but I'll ask it to you voice acting because i know you've been getting in you were you're becoming more uh active on cast and call club what's your experience with voice acting is it is it a good pace is it is it something people can tr is it something people should try if they have a vocal range no <laughs> thank you for the censorship <laughs> yeah Honest, all right, joking. One second. Eating some, some flowers, Steve. Anyways, so voice acting. Um, some for some reason I can uh, smell the what? food. What? I don't know what it is. For some reason, I can, like, digitally smell the food. Anyways. Um. Hold on. I... Anyways. Hey, don't be fucking stingy. Anyways. <laughs> it's pretty. Anyways. Um. Where's acting? Um. You've already got 10 minutes yet? Uh, sorry? Is it at 10 minutes? Uh, this... Uh, it's at... Uh, almost an hour. It's oh, shit! It's about to be 51 minutes that we're in. Just now, it just hit 51. Oh. Never mind. We're good. Alright, voice <laughs> acting. Voice acting. Um... If it's more complicated to speak about, what about, like, the gaming industry? Like, like, do you think, like, the... Being, like, a gamer has its, like, toxic communities or its toxic things? Or not just, like, not, not like, toxic as a topic, but just the gaming industry Talk as a whole? about the, uh, voice acting. Okay. Um... It's very... Interesting, to say the least. Because... You can have fun, and then you can hate it. It's like two things. Um, on one side, um, you can actually get paid uh, pretty well, depending on what role you get. 
and B, you can join a project, but you can actually work on like a actual like show project and they just never do it. Yeah, I, I think I've been in one of those things. I remember I auditioned and got the role for this uh, Australian character called Dr. Silius. I, I, I never ended up being given a script. I don't even think it's being worked on anymore. And that's the most common thing about it, and that's what I hate about it. That's fair. On the bright side, you can get a lot of attention from, like, big companies. This thing buzzes me. <laughs> like, I really, whatever, I don't even know what those are, but I want them. Sunflower seeds. Oh, they're sunflower seeds? I've never eaten sunflower seeds or any, like, I know you can get, like, pumpkin seeds or flower seeds, like, at, like... This is South Carolina, I think. Ah. It's like almond. You were saying, by the way? What was I saying? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> it's oh, the shit. voice acting industry, like, how it sometimes it comes out, like... But sometimes it doesn't because they don't work on it. Oh, yeah. So. Um. Also. Uh. You really gotta be working. Like, you really gotta be willing to work with other people. Mainly because. Um. If you're an introvert. You're probably gonna respond through everything through text. Sometimes people have meetings. Sometimes people don't. Um, you're gonna have people that you like and you actually can make a lot of friends that way. Mm. Or you can make enemies. Not fun. Have you made your fair share of enemies through Casting Call Club? 100%. I don't, I, don't, I don't even think I've had any. I think it's been relatively nice. The only person who I've had any conflict with was Moon, but I don't even talk to her. My goodness. Um, who else? What else? Uh, there's a lot of explicit content in voice acting. Yeah, uh... Like, that's where most <laughs> of the traffic is. I don't know if he's okay with me saying this, but uh, I'm gonna speak for catastrophe a little bit while he's not here. He he he. I remember I talked to him. He said that he was he joined something like some Sonic comic dub that was like really cringe and lovey dovey. Yep. So I can I, I like I I understand what you mean when you say that sometimes it's explicit. Well, if you get paid, good. Depending. That's another thing for voice acting. They never give you the exact amount that you might get. It always says approximately. Yeah. So, it could be approximately $5, and you can only get, and they might just pay you a dollar. They should work on a compromise if that's the case. There should be, like, a compromised option. Like, it's like, it's like they say, okay, like, I, like, I'd be willing to pay five, but if I can only afford this, then this is what I'll give you. That should at least be established early on. See, that's not how they think, in my opinion. In my opinion, it's a way, it's a tactic to uh, get people to submit for the roles. I mean, yeah, I can that see why. Big bucks, they'll most likely want to audition for your private. Isn't isn't that just isn't that kind of isn't that kind of illegal though? Like you're promising big payment, but you're not getting it. Nope, because it's approximately. That's how they get you. They never tell you the exact amount. They should. Welcome to America. <laughs> Welcome to Canada. Land of getting fucked. Yeah, the, 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 the land of getting financially screwed. Yep. There's this old guy down the street that we call One Buck Joe. <laughs> it's because he, he paid... only has one buck to. Oh. 
Yep. Took a dark ass turn. All right, uh, it's almost been an hour. It's been 57 minutes. Oh. I, I'm gonna. I, I think I'm gonna end it here. If that's okay with you, right. is, there, is there anything you want to say before I end it? Um. Make sure, kids. You stay in drugs and eat your school. Yes. Drop them out, let me see them titties. Gonna take a long look at those titties, old bitties. Here we go, looking nice, nipples looking real pretty. Come on, let me get in her at your boobs. Drop them out, let me see them knockers. Gonna take a long look at those big ham hockers. Just squeeze them together while I play with my cocker. Come on, let me get in her at your boobs. Oh.